Right, so there's three things that I want to accomplish today. One of them is open up all of these boxes. The second thing is I want to share some tips about working with brands and getting products to review. And the third thing is, hang on. The third thing, I've got this really long eyebrow hair that needs coming off. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. There it is. So first of all, I just want to say that this video is not intended to be a brag whatsoever. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, look at all the gear I've been sent. It's not about that at all. If anything, I want to make sure you get something out of this video. So I'm going to share some tips that I use myself for working with brands and how to get gear to review. Now I've already done a full video on this and you can see that up here and all the tips still apply but there's just a few things that I wanted to add to that today and a few things that I've learned since doing that video that have helped me negotiate with brands and build better relationships so stay tuned for that. And also it's more about encouraging you if you want to do the same thing as what I do because when I first started out this was the dream I wanted to be sent these types of products that other youtubers were getting and I didn't think it was ever gonna happen and now look the room is absolutely <laughs> jam-packed full of stuff so I just like see this video as some encouragement and inspiration and motivation if that's what you want to do yourself, that's what I want to do. I want to inspire you, I want to motivate you. So see it as that. I hope this video gets you excited and use the tips to your full potential. And lastly, before I start opening these boxes, I want to make all of these companies aware and everybody aware that I'm truly, truly grateful for being in the position to be sent this amazing stuff, no matter how small or big it is. I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to try all this gear out and to be trusted to make a good impression of it. And as well, you guys trust my opinion. That's what really matters to me. So let's get some stuff open. I'm excited. Oh, it's a bit warm. Right, I don't really know where to start. I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna put these down. I'm gonna have to have a system of some sort. It's gonna get chaotic if not. I have no idea what some of this stuff is. It's been that long. I've been meaning to do a unboxing video for a long time. And this was all stuff that was sent to me around Christmas time because I've been so busy working on another project that you'll find out about very soon. I haven't had time to do it all. So it's good though that I've been able to make this and I can kind of showcase the products bit by bit until the main video and you get to see what's coming up on the channel as well. So let's start with this one. I've already opened this one because I needed the box for something. I had to send something quite large, so I used the box. But this is the Manfrotto Rolling Bag 3. It's basically like a carry-on for traveling, like a suitcase type thing, but for cameras. Look at that. <laughs> I cannot wait to go away with all with this stuff. Again, full video on all this stuff. We'll be following this video soon, and all the links will be in the description as well. One down. Another thing I got for Christmas, this handy knife, so I'll be able to rip through these boxes no time. While we're on the Manfrotto wagon, let's get this one open. Okay, I think they've sent me two by accident. So I've got two of the rolling three bags. I'm gonna have to ask them if they want it back, but if they don't want it back, I might be doing a giveaway. So if you want one of these bags, and we do do a giveaway, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> because I'll be keeping you up to date. By the way, if anybody saw yesterday's video about the R5C, you'll have seen that I had this drink, but I actually made it too strong. I did it wrong, I put too much in. I used a heaped tablespoon instead of a heaped teaspoon. It was a little bit strong, this is a bit better. <laughs> what is this? Advanced Messenger M3. Wow, -y. look at this. I remember watching the Casey Neistat unboxing videos, the mail time videos, and just loved them. Don't know what it was about them, just really enjoyed watching them, so hopefully it's the same for you. Yeah, look at this. If you're into a more sort of, that sort of bag, that's cool. I like that, postman bag. And then we've got the Street Slim backpack. It's great to have your main camera bag, but sometimes you just want to go out for the day and not bring too much with you. So this is like a, a small version. A little mini compartment there in the bottom. Another compartment at the top. You can put a laptop in there, some clothes or your lunchbox in there. 
more importantly. Love that colour. Look at that. I like the style of that. Nice and lightweight. Great for little days out. <laughs> Thank you again. So let's go a bit different now. Let's go for this. I love camera cages and I love all the accessories that come with them. But building them out, if you've never done it before, can be quite time consuming and looking for the right parts can be quite difficult. But Filecam or Ulanzi have come out with this quick release cage system. So all the parts just come off really quickly. Let's have a look. So this is the other part. So this is the cage. Again, I'll be doing a full video on this. Then we've got the double head quick release monitor mount kit, another monitor mount, slightly different version, two side handles and a top handle. Now all you do is just, it's like a NATO rail system. So you just clip them on super easy, customize it however you want. And it's really lightweight as well. I like the color. It's like a gun metal gray type thing. Can't wait to do a full video on this. So stay tuned. Look at that. This one, <laughs> fragile. Look at the state of the box. This is how it arrived. It reminds me of, have you seen Ace Ventura? Where at the beginning, I think it's number one, where at the beginning he's kicking that parcel down the street. This is what, I'm sure this is that parcel. Look at the state of it. <clears throat> oh. A while back I reviewed the Z-Pon slider. You can see the video up here. My favorite one. I love the GVM slider video up here. Really enjoyed the Z-Pon. Worked so well, really good quality. But what I missed was the pan and tilt. So this is the Pons PT motorized pan head, pan and tilt, I think. Cannot wait to review this. It's gonna be an absolute beast. If it's anything like the slider itself, can't wait. Thank you, Z-Pon. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna open this because I'm super excited. I know what it is. You can see what it is because it's on the box. Ring grip for the DJI RS2 gimbal. I know a lot of people use the tilter ones, but Digital Photo asked me to review this one and I snapped their hand off. Is that the right saying? I've got a really good idea for it. This will probably be, be the, the the next thing I review because they've been waiting a long time, so it won't be long. This comes in a case. We all know Sammy likes a case. Am I in focus, by the way, because I'm using the S5 and I know I'm moving around a lot. Seems to be doing all right, but sorry if it's not. Hopefully, after the other video, the camera shouldn't be wobbling anymore because I've put a tripod up, I've rearranged the room, put a tripod up, Yes. Woo -wee. But I don't think it's going to be as lightweight as the tilter because it's not carbon fibre, but it'd be good to use nonetheless. Nice. Still got some more to go, but I thought I'd give you the first tip now, break the video up a little bit. When I first started this channel, it was meant to be about helping beginner videographers get better results with the gear that they do have or less gear or affordable gear because you can achieve some really good things with how good the technology is now. So that's what I wanted to share. And then when I started getting products sent to me, obviously that's what I want to do as well. I want to show everybody what you can achieve. It kind of, that, start, that started to take over and I felt obliged when companies reached out and said, can you review this? So there's kind of a line between what, like paying the bills and getting sponsors and things like that and getting free gear, but then also, staying true to what you wanted the channel to be about in the first place. So you've got to make sure that you're doing what you want to do and also that your viewers are going to still appreciate all your videos. And it's hard. It's like a balancing act. So I do want to try and get back to the sort of vlog and tutorial type videos because that's what I want to do. I want to help people. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to do gear reviews because it's still a huge part. <coughs> Excuse me. It's still a huge part of the process of getting better videos basically so yeah I'm still I'm, I'm gonna do that but I am gonna focus more on storytelling and tutorials so what I want to say to you is and the, and the tip out of all of that is don't lose sight of what your channel is about in the first place don't feel like you have to say yes to everybody because at the end of the day not wrong way at the end of the day it's your channel it's your subscribers so you want to stay true to what you're doing don't be afraid of saying no well, let's carry on. What we got in here? Ha <laughs> Look at this! To Sam, wish you have a great Christmas time and Happy New Year. Best regards, Zoe. Thank you so much, Zoe. You know what? Little messages like that are really nice to receive. It's more personal. It's great working with some of these brands. It really is. And you get to know the people and you can build up a really good connection. This is the 
Comica Boom XD Pro. It's like the equivalent of the Rode, whatever it is, the duo thing. I'm gonna test this out. Great for weddings and interviews anything like that where you need to mic up two different people and you want a consistent sound. Cheers Zoe. These are already open. I've opened these already because, sorry for chewing, I've opened these already because I wanted to check they worked. It's the Aperture Amaran P60C and P60X. So there's a bi-colour version and a RGB colour version as well. Amazing panel lights. If you're into panel lights, incredible, super bright, super versatile. Stay tuned for the full video, can't wait. Amazing things, blown away. This biggie! By the way, I've been using Premiere Pro for the past month for this project I've been working on. I used to love it, still do love it, great program. But I'm on a 2017 iMac, very old. Well, not very old, just old. And it can't keep up with it whatsoever, so Final Cut Pro has been absolutely great for me over the past five, six months. Just love the program so quick to use and yeah I've been enjoying it. It only took me three attempts to actually like it but we got there in the end. Another street slim bag and another one of the advanced messenger bags. I think there's been a mix-up. Thank you so much Manfrotto. Right last but not least I think this might be a surprise. They did say they were gonna send me a, a surprise. Comica, 10 year anniversary. Happy New Year. Marzipan. Marzipan. Stickers, calendar, plaque. 2012-2022. Guessing that goes like that. Then we've got some lights and a little light strip. See that? Look at that. Oh, it's audio. So when you talk, it goes up. That's, whoa, that's insane. Where do you put that then? White. Oh, orange. Woohoo! That's amazing. This is awesome. Thanks, Comica. I'm going to put that there for the rest of the video. <laughs> is it distracting or what? Right, last few tips then. So you can't just expect that companies will come to you and just because you've got a YouTube channel and you're good at taking pictures or good at doing video that they're going to send you stuff. What they need to see is that you understand branding and marketing and how companies work. So whatever video you're making, make sure that you focus on the USPs of those products. So whatever it is about that particular product, make sure that you're talking about that in the video as well as your own enthusiasm and, what, and the things you like about it as well. And the companies will see that you're really good at getting their key messages across to people. Super easy tip is making sure that you've got your social channels and all your email address details within the About Me page on your YouTube channel, but also maybe on, on Linktree in Instagram. Make sure that you're easy to contact, and that's a simple one. Before I get on to some really important points and some key things that I've learned, if you're just starting out with this stuff, don't turn your nose up at the smaller companies or the smaller brands, because you can use those to help build relationships, but also to practice what this is all about. Is this distracting? <laughs> Are we all right? Is that funny or? There's a lot to negotiating with brands and communicating effectively, effectively with brands. So use that as practice and don't think of them as too small and you're too good for that. Just because it's not an Aperture brand, for example, doesn't mean you can't do something with them. It doesn't mean they're not good. And also you're helping them out. Don't forget that they're just up and coming as well and it's good for you both to help each other on that ladder. And those relationships, when you appreciate each other equally, those relationships build over time and you're gonna have more of a rapport with them. And when other brands see how respectful you are of even the smallest brands, they're gonna think, we want that person to represent us as well. So it just looks good all round if you're positive about the smallest thing that you're talking about, whether or not anybody's heard of that name or not. Lastly, the most important thing that you kind of get to know once you've been doing it for a while is sometimes you feel like you have to say yes to everything, but you really don't. And sometimes you can feel like you have to accept a small amount of money or quite frankly, some bad terms, but you don't. It's, it's a two-way thing. It's a two-way deal. It's a two-way negotiation and you've both got to be happy with it. Because if you're not happy with it, you're not gonna put the effort in and they're not gonna be happy with the output your viewers and your subscribers aren't gonna be happy with the video. And I've done this, I've fallen into the trap of doing videos just because I felt like I had to. 
and it's not done very well, it affects the channel and you lose subscribers, you lose that faith in your audience. So make sure that you negotiate for what works best for both of you. Rather than doing a full video about a product, just including it maybe, you might get paid a little bit less, but at least you're both happy with the outcome. You've got to set your expectations. And that kind of leads me on to my last point, which is make sure that you're both clear on the expectations from both sides, making sure that the company knows what your deliverables are going to be, when they're going to be, so that they're not chasing you all the time. Because there's nothing worse than not being clear and not communicating when you're going to release a video and where you're going to release a video, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube or whatever and then they're going to be chasing you up all the time and you're going to have to explain to them, oh, I can't do it yet. So if you feel like you can't do it for a couple of weeks, just lay that out from the first message. Just say, express enthusiasm. I'd love to do a review of this product. It looks amazing. But unfortunately, I'm not available to film this video until this date. Is this okay with you? If so, how would you like to move forward? And then you can go from there. You, you're setting out clear guidelines for when you can do something. And yeah, they, they appreciate that. And it's always good to let them know when the product has arrived, express your excitement with it and you can't wait to get started. And yeah, so, I mean, you can do it however you want to do it. I only like sharing stuff mainly on, on YouTube and then I might do some behind the scenes stuff on Instagram, but yours might be different to mine. It also depends on your audience. My audience on Instagram is very split. There's a lot of people on there that aren't camera people and they just like to follow me because they like to see what I'm up to. So I don't want to bombard them with gear reviews because they're not, they're going to get disengaged. But your Instagram following might be different to mine. So that's where you've got to decide what's best for you and where you're going to put these reviews. And it's worth expressing that with the company as well. Like if your audience is primarily on YouTube, that's where you're gonna put your content. So yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful and grateful to be in this position where I've got an abundance of packages <laughs> and I love sharing it with you all. And I'm genuinely, this is, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. I only do stuff that I feel like I would benefit from myself because I'm more enthusiastic about that stuff and you're gonna feel that, that's what I want. I, I'm gonna share products that I think help me with you. So anyway, what was your favorite tip? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe so you get to hear about all of this stuff and more. Thanks so much for watching, if you still are, and I will see you in another one. Let's go and tidy up.